Welcome back, everyone. We have an easy dish to make, and it's guaranteed to impress your guests. That's right. Here's Chef Patrick on how to make miso sake glazed shrimp. Good morning, and welcome back to the Culinary Institute of Platt College. My name is Chef Patrick. Today we're going to make a miso sake glazed shrimp with an Asian coleslaw I like to call Tokyo slaw. Uh, first, we're going to make the glaze for our shrimp. We're going to get some miso, a soybean paste, a little bit of brown sugar, okay, some nice minced ginger, and a little bit of sake. Just go ahead and mix all that up real nice. You want to just get it fully incorporated, no lumps of miso or anything. The, the more uh, blended together, the better this is going to work. So take your time with this. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and add our shrimp directly to it. Now I recommend you let this marinate for about an hour or so. That way it gets nice and uh, tasty. We're simply going to take a skewer. I'm going to go in through the body and out through the tail. Okay, I like to do about three to each skewer. Okay. And then we're just going to set them on a plate to take to our grill. Now one of the things I like to do while it's grilling is go ahead and give it a little bit of a baste and just go ahead and use your excess uh, miso paste glaze. Let that roll for about five minutes, then turn it, glaze it again, and five more minutes ready to go. Now while that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and make our Asian slaw. This one's really easy too. A little bit of mayonnaise. A little bit of wasabi. Some garlic. A little bit of honey. Nice sweetness. Okay. Now I'm gonna take all that, I'm gonna mix it together. You wanna make sure that this is fully incorporated before you start putting the cabbage and all the other ingredients in there. That way you get a nice consistent flavor throughout your coleslaw. All right. And then we just simply just throw everything right on in here. Give it a toss with a nice pair of tongs. As soon as it's all nice and incorporated, you're ready to go. Make sure that dressing's on every single piece of vegetation you can get. Um, you want to let it sit up for, oh, no more than about 30 minutes or so. Um, it tends to, get, tends to get loose and a little bit runny if you let it sit too long. And there we 